This is Eva from Subtent Trio. In this video, I'll show you how to configure the wideband interference mitigation system of your receiver. Wideband interference mitigation is one of the tools of AIM+, Septentrio's patented Advanced Interference Monitoring and Mitigation Technology. Wideband interference mitigation can reject complex types of interference, such as that from GNSS chirp jammers, frequency hopping signals from aviation devices, as well as high-powered Inmarsat transmitters. It's also capable of dealing with pulsed interference more effectively than traditionally used pulse blanking methods. In this example, I'll show you how to use wideband interference mitigation to reduce the effect of a chirp jammer. I'll use a 10 mW jammer capable of affecting GNSS signals in a radius of 400 meters. The rapid frequency variation or chirping nature of its signal makes it much more destructive over far greater distances than other types of jammers. Go to the GNSS tab and click on Spectrum. Right now, the spectrum looks clean and everything is normal. So let's see what happens when I turn on the jammer. In the spectrum plot, the effect of the jammer is clearly visible as a wide band complex form. By selecting raw samples, the characteristic chirping can also be visualized in the time domain. Now, I'll use wideband interference mitigation to reduce the effect of the jammer. Go to the settings tab and turn on wideband interference mitigation. Make sure the after I am baseband sampling mode is enabled, so you can inspect the spectrum after interference mitigation has been applied. Press OK and go back to the status tab. The spectrum looks clean now, and in the status panel, you see the position mode change from standalone to RTK fixed, meaning that the receiver can once again calculate a highly accurate position. Depending on the type of receiver and firmware version, the status panel may also contain an icon indicating whether the spectrum is affected by spoofing or interference. In this case, the icon shows that interference is being detected and mitigated. Now you know what to do in case the performance of your receiver is affected by wideband interference. If you have any questions or if you'd like more information, visit our support page on septentrio.com. Thanks for watching.